Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bros. And today we bring you our cool tech under $30 on Amazon. We're trying something a little bit different. We're moving away from just PC hardware and looking at some really cool tech products that you can buy on Amazon today. Um, but yeah, before we talk about this tech, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Govi and their Glide Smart Wall Light, featuring seven interchangeable pieces to allow you to create whatever design you like, beautiful RGBIC multicolor lighting that allows you to display up to 57 colors at one time with 16 million in total that can be controlled via their app with different profiles like music reaction and 50 plus other dynamic scene modes that change the vibe of a room with a single tap. The lights are easy to install and snap together and come with with a strong built-in adhesive to easily mount to your service of choice. There is also built-in smart integration with Alexa to control your lights, including changing modes. You can learn more about Govi and all their RGB products by checking the link in the description down below. And special thanks again to Govi for sponsoring today's video. So in case you guys didn't know, over in our Discord community, we were actually taking recommendations for a lot of this stuff, and quite a few of these things were actually recommendations from you guys at home, so big thanks for that, but all under $30 here on Amazon, um, it's all pretty useful in our opinion, and it's not directly PC related, so we're going outside of our comfort zone. So what we're gonna do is just show off each product, what we think about it, give our first initial impressions, and well, basically decide whether or not it's worth it for 30 bucks, so let's just get right into it. So guys, this is the first item. We have the, I don't know if that's part of it, it's a dolphin, but NJSJ H128 RGB PC speakers, and they are very tiny. Um, a lot of the speaker listings, you know, don't be fooled, they make them look huge, but they're always gonna be very small for the price. But it does use USB for power, so you don't have to plug it straight into the wall. It outputs at six watts. We have a four ohm speaker impedance and some other random stuff that you guys may or may not care about. They're under $30 speakers, so yeah. They're not Bluetooth. You do have to use a 3.5 millimeter jack, so if you do wanna plug it in your phone, you gotta make sure that you have a phone that either has a 3.5 millimeter jack, which mine doesn't, or you're gonna need one of your USB-C or lightning to 3.5 millimeter adapters. So keep that in mind if you're buying this just to use with your phone. Maybe our smartphone will come with one. <laughs> Maybe smart, I bet the smartphone's gonna have one, and that's supposed to be good for playing music, so little did we know, we got some combo products here. Okay, so I think, yeah, this is this is right side up. I mean, they look pretty fancy. They look pretty cute. There's really not much to them. Uh, it looks like you can open them up with some screws in the back here. So if you want to repurpose these speakers, you can. We have a 3.5 mil jack, USB for power, and that's just going to give it RGB as well. And then turn the volume up and down here. So we're going to put volume knob all the way up. <laughs> and then I can adjust the volume more from here. So right now we are at 17. Oh man, this is gonna get loud. Are you ready? This is 50. Do I go 100 once like the bass drops? Yeah. It's 100. Dude, what? <laughs> huh? What? What? No, I could not hear. What were you saying? How's that bass though? We gotta get to the bass track. Um, yeah, let's, let's get to the bass track. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Are they pulsating? Here, I'm gonna... Let me, let me do some lights off action. Oh, it pulsates, baby. Oh, yeah. All right, we're definitely gonna have to get some B-roll of those bad boys. Heck yeah. All right, so, so I mean, bet 15 bucks. I'm not gonna lie, I was like, I was disappointed at the size of them and everything. Uh, really common thing, you know, disappointed at the size, but uh, these definitely pack a punch. Like, I couldn't even hear McAllister talk right across the room, so I'm gonna give a thumbs up for this product. Next up, we have a pair of wireless earbuds. Now, these are the Tozo T10s. They are Bluetooth headphones with Bluetooth 5.0, and they come in at around, like, a little under 30 bucks. Um, so these are a pretty good value, and the unboxing experience is pretty good so far. So we have the two earbuds right here, a carrying case, which, with the carrying case, I believe it gives you a total of 30 hours of use. 
So with this thing fully charged, you can pop these in and recharge them. The actual headphones get about an hour and a half use, so you get a lot of recharges. As you can tell, we got left and right here. Pretty basic for your like uh, totally wireless uh, earbuds. Looks like this thing's already pre-charged, so we can actually drop these in here. And uh, I mean, it's not too bad. It has a little clip for, uh, well, you can actually put this like a lanyard or whatever. And inside here, it actually comes with different ear uh, tips as well. So um, I know I have a lot of problems with earbuds uh, not fitting in my ear properly. So getting uh, different ear tips to try allows you to get the perfect fit. So we're gonna put them over oh, ears. Oh man, I'm throwing them, oh God, I'm throwing them everywhere. But uh, <laughs> there you go. So we got like a bigger tip, we got a medium and a, a small. I don't know which one are on here right now. I'm assuming smaller. I don't know how they really compare, but uh, we'll just try the stock ones here. The main thing is to get the perfect seal so you can hear that bass. Now, in terms of battery life on these things, you get six hours on a single charge. Once again, the case does allow for up to 30 hours of rechargeability, and it takes about two hours to charge from completely dead. So pretty good battery life for these uh, wireless earbuds. There's really no way for us to give you a test on why they sound, just our opinion of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pair this with my phone and uh, see what kind of uh, audio quality we get. Oh, it's loud. All right, so first impressions on these, very, very bass heavy. So if you're someone who just loves bass, then these are a really good option. Uh, the ear uh, tips that are on here actually fit really well for me out of the box, but not well for Jackson. So obviously mess around with these to make sure you get a really good fit. Uh, my weirds, are, my weirds. My ears are actually kind of weird because I have some of my headphones, like I have different tips for each one and it actually fits better that way. Um, so just mess around, they get the best fit, but bass heavy, really good. There's a lot of tap controls built in, so you can actually pause, skip, volume up and down with different tap controls. Um, and I would say for the money, it's pretty good. I really can't complain too much. And they are uh, water resistant, IP68 water resistant, I believe. IPX8 water resistant as well. So for working out, they're absolutely awesome. If you're just sweating up a storm and you always kill your earbuds because of that. I mean, it's worth it, especially since you're getting a wireless pair of earbuds are like 30 bucks compared to somebody like AirPods that you're spending a hundred plus dollars on. Even if these break a couple times, you're not even gonna hit the price point of something like AirPods. So if you're not a big audiophile and you just want something that's bass heavy and will work well in the gym, this is a good option. All right, guys, so the next up, we have a power brick and you're probably like, power brick? You know, those, those are really common. So this surge protector here is actually a smart surge protector made by Ann. Why do I get all the hard to pronounce products? And Hurao. I yes. think I pronounced it right. With that. But it has 12 outlets with four USB ports. And I believe that a certain amount of the outlets are actually smart and the USBs are all smart. And then some of them are just always on. You, can, you, know, you can't turn them off or anything. Uh, it does have up to 600, 1,680 joules of surge protection. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got here. Let's see what we got here using the big knife. And we're gonna... We have a bigger knife coming we soon. Have a, we have a bigger knife coming soon. I feel like I'm opening a keyboard. Yeah. Like every time I look at it, I think it's a keyboard. And I'm like, nope, this isn't computers. I mean, this thing's pretty heavy duty feeling already. A lot of, I was expecting it to be very plasticky because this one was, I think around 25. It was definitely uh, well under our 30 mark. That's a very nice feeling switch. I like how it's recessed too. This is something that you do not see often. Normally your power bricks are gonna have like little covers in the side, but I have a bad problem of like, if my foot goes near this, I accidentally turn them off. So this is nice so you can't easily turn it off. We actually have a Wi-Fi reset button here. I think these ones here are always on. So that's what it says, always on. So we have six always on. They're just standard power surge connectors. These are the smart ones. They actually have little LED indicators on them. I don't exactly know what we can do with them, but I'm assuming we can set like times for them to turn on and off. We can probably set certain power features and stuff. He got out the freaking, got out a manual. Yeah, it looks like we um, we have to <laughs> register the app. So we have to download Smart Life. It's a good name for the app. Um, plug in the device, uh, pair it, and then let's see what we can do with it. Okay, so here's actually like the menu of the app. So it looks like we can do like reminders and alarms. I don't even know what contacts would mean, but routines and stuff like that. I, skills and game, okay, I don't know what any of that means. But pretty cool though, we do have some USBs here as well. They're also smart, they're 3.4 amps, so pretty fast charge. So yeah, I don't know where we go from here. Do we plug it in and try it out? Sure. Plug it in and try it out. Okay, so we actually got the app to work. Now, just a couple of notes on how this app works. You do have to have a 2.4 gigahertz network. So you cannot do this on a five gigahertz band frequency. So just make sure your router supports 2.4. But this is pretty cool. You can see we actually can label each switch. We can give them names. So let's say that I have, you know, a 3D printer on one or something. So I'll name one like 3D printer. And then it looks like we can turn them. Oh, you can actually turn <laughs> off and on, that's cool. 
You can individually turn them off and on. It's actually kind of a cool interface. Now here we can do like countdowns. So it looks like, yeah, you can actually, so like let's say I wanted my 3D print to start an hour from now. I can set a timer. The device will turn off after an hour. So I, I think this is just the opposite. I think this turns it on. So basically you could have it to where it turns on and then a timer for it to turn off. So yeah, you can see here, turn off after 11.30 for 3D printer and then switch to whichever one that is, is turn on after 10.30. Nice. So that seems pretty useful. I mean, it's definitely something uh, we could use at the office because we know what time we get here every single day to film. We turn these lights on and off constantly. We could have them set up on this to just automatically turn on once we get in. So that'd be pretty cool. You can also hook this up to Alexa. Um, I'm not sure if it supports Google or not. I think it does. Okay. Yeah, okay, we have Alexa, Google Assistant, and Smart Things. <laughs> so we could hook it up to our Google where we just walk in and we go, you know, hey, I'm not gonna say it because it's gonna, it's gonna come on, but we could say, hey, and then, you know, we could make it to where we could turn the lights on and off and all kinds of crazy things. So, so that was, uh, this one's pretty cool. I definitely think it's one of the probably most useful things so far, as far as having around your home, but we have some more cool stuff coming right up. Now we have the beautiful phone here. This is a Blue View 2 from TrackPhone. So basically TrackPhone is like the carrier. Um, it, they sell this phone just so you can, well, get onto their uh, service. And the phone is, well, very, very cheap at $30. A smartphone for $30, I'm not expecting a whole lot, but if you can get something that can, well, play back music, you could leave it in your car as like a permanent little MP3 player, um, something like that, that also has just smart app features. I think it's pretty good, or it could be a kid's first phone. I don't know if you want to do that too your kid, but you could. Um, it has a removable battery. Removable battery, that's actually pretty cool. But that's what we were wondering is, is this thing gonna have like a locked in battery? But it looks like it's removable, so you can actually uh, save this thing with a new battery if the battery just becomes old. Uh, there's the back. Micro SD card reader. Micro SD card reader. So just quickly open up a bunch of this stuff. So we have a, it looks like USB-C cable. Wow, modern technology. USB-C. I think only iPhone could do that. I think, yeah, imagine. Uh, here's the charger, and then here is the good old little battery. So we'll go ahead and pop that in there. See SIM if we card's have already installed. Yeah, so it's a SIM card, so you can activate it with um, track phone and actually get, well, service that way. We're not gonna be doing any of that. We're just gonna be running off a of Wi-Fi just to get the main features out of the phone. But we have that going there. We'll go ahead and put the back on it and turn this thing on. It's very plasticky, plastic like any other $30 phone would feel. All right, take let's that go, let's off. Let's get our apps off. Yeah, all right, so let's turn it I'm on. I'm excited to see the camera on this thing. Oh, there we go. Look the screen doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look awful. So we're gonna see how long it takes to turn on and what kind of battery we have. It doesn't feel awful. Like, I mean, to be honest, this feels about the same as like a cheaper Android phone, like three or four years ago. Like if you just had like a, an old Galaxy phone or something like that, when Galaxy used to use all plastic, um, it feels very similar to that. We got the track phone, <laughs> track screen. phone, to rack phone, here we go. This is how we're gonna do all of our uh, graphics cards transactions now. Yeah, exactly. Using the burner phone. This is the burner phone. So we can get uh, all our graphics cards for PC browsers. I've tagged by PCs from us, by the way. Get a graphics table ready to go here, you know. Just, uh, I mean, it work. Yeah, it works. The audio's not the greatest. Screen's not the greatest, but it works. The brightness is like really, really up there. How do I adjust brightness? Pull down one more time. What is this trap music in the back? Sponsor spot, just kidding. Um, but yeah, it plays back video. We'll probably have some other tests during the B-roll of everything else. Um, I'll go and take let's a couple. The camera. Yeah, let's get, look at the camera real quick. All right, I'll follow you here if you want to get like some pictures of something a little further away. Can you see ourselves right now? I'm gonna get a picture of the set real quick. You know, something like that. Well, we'll include these pictures okay. in the not, video. Not for terrible. Sure. There it is. All right, selfie. Selfie. Uh, so uh, yeah. some of the specs, I'll come back around here real quick as we wrap up the main specs of this. Some of the specs on this phone is a 5.5 inch HD display, which I do believe is 720p. Uh, it has a two gigahertz quad core processor, 3000 milliamp hour battery, 4G LTE support, a 13 megapixel rear camera, and a eight, meg eight megapixel front camera. Specs wise, not bad. It, it, not bad. Yeah, there's that, the phone, it works. It's $30. Can you really complain that much about $30? 
$10. I have a bunch of pictures on screen of stuff I just take pictures of right here. But uh, yeah, I think this is pretty good. If you need a smartphone and something to get up and running, it works. Or if you just want a secondary MP3 player that has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, I mean, this is not too shabby. And depending if the battery life is good, I think you have a good option here. So uh, blue phone, definitely recommend. Now the last product that we have in this fun little tech roundup is a tile. A lot of you guys have probably heard of this. This is the tiled mat and this is the technically like first second gen. I think it's like the 2019, 2020 model. Cause if you want the newest one, it costs a little bit more. It's over 30 and the advantages aren't major. I think you just have a little bit further distance. So this guy right here goes up to about 250 feet. Uh, but the newer versions go up to like 328. So, you know, you get some some minor advantages, but look how small this thing is. This is the one that's designed to clip to a lanyard or your keychain. They do sell thin versions that are designed to go inside your wallet as well. Does it come with a battery? It come with a battery, it come with a battery. It got, it got crazy, but really simple to add these. All you have to do is go to activate tile. We have the mate. We're gonna click the tile button. Just hold that middle. Yeah. Next. It'll play in, oh, it already did the nice tune. Looking for your tile. Hold your device next to your phone. Is it that easy? It's that easy, what do you wanna? We're gonna throw it on our keys. We're Ignore gonna pay $99 a year. So we do try free. Do I, you, you actually have to pay? Uh, you can cancel that. It's for like, they'll send you battery replacements and stuff like that. Oh, okay. So I guess you do technically have to, they don't have a free plan. They should. Oh, try free now. It says try one month for free. I don't know, anyways, we're just gonna go ahead and do that. We're... So it works for that, there. So you could have this connected to your keychain. That's kind of loud, actually. And it's fun. Can you make a play anything you want? Can I make a play the Mario theme <laughs> song? Know. But yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, that's really loud. Pretty straightforward. It says the, the signal's very uh, strong too, so that's nice. It basically uses a mixture of Bluetooth and Wi-Fi to tell you if your keys or phone is really far or if it's really close based on how strong the signal is. And also, if you leave it somewhere really far away, it'll tell you where it was last seen on the network and it can actually use Tile's network to help pinpoint wherever your device is. All right, guys, so that was a really fun roundup of our five top tech products. If you guys liked all this stuff or want to add anything for the next time, maybe a different price range, let us know in the description down below. Not the description, the comment section down below. And if you want to buy any of this stuff, links in the description will be affiliate links and they will help us out. And always give us some suggestions. We'll be happy to consider them. Check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toaster Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Did you guys know that aside from YouTube, we also have Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, maybe Snapchat one day, maybe OnlyFans, I don't know, we have all kinds of things. Discord and Cameo. Yeah, link down below. Cameo. Do that. All right, bye. We did it. Zoomed. <laughs>